What is good, Grey Gang? Today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different than my normal videos, but it's still gonna be a good video. Basically, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be exploring that box and that box. All while there is a gigantic thunderstorm coming in from that way at an unknown speed. What that means is I don't know if the rain's gonna be here in 10 minutes or 10 hours. And it is definitely coming. First things first, guys, I'm gonna set up the tripod and we'll open that first box. Okay, here is the first one. Okay, here is the first one. It is to Kendall Gray. Okay, guys, it's raining. We gotta go. That didn't last long. I'll see you back maybe in another day. It's gonna be the same video, but uh, we'll still be opening the same packages. But guys, it's raining. I gotta get out of here. I don't know what made me try to come out and make a video on a thunderstorm. That literally doesn't make any sense. Yeah, sycamores don't sycamores don't shake like that if it ain't gonna rain hard. I gotta get out of here, guys. It is here. Yeah, I made a good decision. I don't know how, guys, but like the, the you could look and like the sky didn't look bad. Like it sort of still doesn't. It just looks like it's casual overcast. It's obviously not no casual overcast. This is a this is a rainstorm. I didn't even know that they had hurricanes in Kentucky. But apparently they do. Because what else is this? And by the way, guys, should I bring back the decal care package? Go up in the comments. Dude, it's like it's coming down with it. I I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay, guys, we're back. The storm is over. It's no longer, you know, lightning in outside. So, we're back. We're in the same exact spot, same exact boxes, same exact opening knife I'm going to use. Now, this one, I got it in fan mail actually like six months ago. I got it sort of a long time ago, but it's just, it is a man's knife, guys. Like, I'm telling you, if a bear came up to me, I could probably kill a grizzly bear. It's just a man's knife, if you know what I mean. And that is exactly what it's going to take to break into our first box. Now, before you ask, none of these two boxes are fan mail. They're both actually stuff I bought on Amazon. But they're cool things I bought on Amazon. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay, we are in the first box. First thing. Bubble wrap. Okay, so here's what's in the box. That's about it. Okay, just kidding, guys, but here's what it is. What it is, is it's a hammock. Because, you know, I don't know about you, but I was thinking maybe a camping video or, you know, maybe a 24-hour wilderness challenge. A hammock may come in handy. We're gonna set it up and see how it works. Oh, man. If it doesn't start raining, which it might. First, let's see what's in this bag. I think this is just all the cords and stuff. Oh, no, never mind. This is my other thing. Oh, wow, that's actually really nice. There's no way. Why? It's raining. That's two days in a row. Tell you what, guys, it's just sprinkling. We're gonna carry on. So what was in that box? One, the hammock, and then also this big old black bag. And what was in the black bag is just like a bunch of GoPro stuff. Here is like a waterproof mount thing that I can hold. And in here, there's like a chest cam, and well, to be honest, guys, there's literally everything in here. But here's what the kit looks like. But let's just be honest, guys, I bought it only for the head cam. And I'll tell you what, guys, it really is. It's raining. Why does it do this? It rains 24-7. It's rained for the last three days. I was hoping maybe I'd get lucky today and I'd be able to make a video. Guess what? I was wrong. Hey, uh, I, I don't really know. I guess I'll just see you later. I mean, we're going to carry on with the video. Just not right now because it's coming down. Three hours later. Third time's the charm? I mean, hopefully. The only question I have is what is the charm we're talking about? Is the charm we're talking about the time that I finally get to play with my hammock? Or is the charm we're talking about the time that Thor strikes me down with lightning? Because I'll be honest, guys, we have about an equal chance of each one happening. But hopefully we'll get to, you know, play with the hammock. I've been trying to make this video for three days. Three days! It's insanity! But anyways, let's pick out this hammock and see what it was. Now, whenever I got on Amazon to buy this hammock, my thought process was... Well, I really don't want to spend much money on a hammock because most likely there's a good possibility I'll never use it. So I literally got on there and bought the cheapest one and it was only like 16 bucks. As far as I'm concerned, a pretty good price for a hammock. No. Guys, if it rains again, I'll, I'm just going to delete my channel. But as I open up the hammock, one, I have one rope. Then I have another rope. Can you believe it? And then on in here, I have this thing, which is... Sort of like a parachute, but I'm guessing it's the hammock. Oh, it is. It's the hammock. Dude, like, this is the thing that it come in. That's the pouch. It's built into the actual hammock thing. Now, the question is, how do I work this parachute? 
And where do I jump from? This is actually really cool, and I'm really ready to use it. And this is a pretty big hook. So from what I'm guessing, my background knowledge with hammocks, I'm thinking what we need to do is find two trees, equally sort of spread out a little bit, somehow tie these ropes to each of it, and then clip it on the ropes. I'm not exactly sure, but that's my best guess. I don't know about you guys, but uh, that tree right there looks like a pretty good candidate. How we work this? Can't be too hard, can it? Okay. I don't know how hard this is supposed to be, but I'm not exactly sure if this is poison ivy or not. I think it is. Tell you what, boys. Let's pick a different tree. That one's covered in poison ivy. And I don't feel like getting destroyed today. And let me read the instructions, because I'll be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing right now. Good morning, guys. What we're going to talk about this morning is how to properly hang or suspend your hammock between two trees. Now, with most hammocks, there's poison ivy everywhere. Raining. I thought it quit raining. Come on, man. Test time. Time to test it. Here we go, guys. The official $15 hammock test. A little sketchy. A little sketchy, not gonna lie. If I never post another video, it's because the hammock broke and I broke my neck. This is actually pretty cool. Okay, that's some mean thunder. But I feel like a butterfly. I'm a caterpillar. It's been eight weeks and I've been in my cocoon. Then one day, I get the mind and the confidence to bust out and flap my wings. And then I rise above all. And for you guys, if you didn't know that, that's how butterflies are made. Just like that. I promise. I used to be one. But now, I'm going to go get my Daniel Boone knife and that other box. And we're going to open it inside my cocoon. Always got to take your shoes off before you get in a hammock. Sort of respectful kind of thing to do. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, where'd Kendall go? Don't worry, guys. I'm right here. But now we have to open a box, and I'm going to sit crisscross applesauce while I do it. It may be a little bit hard to focus on me, but maybe here in a minute we'll stop swinging. But until then, we're going to open a box. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Some of y'all probably already guessed what this is because I told you I was ordering it in, like, I don't know, a few videos ago. Yeah, okay. It's a cast net, guys. Remember whenever I threw my cast net on like this random stump in the water and it ripped all to pieces? And I said I was going to go get a new one? Well, I did, guys. I wasn't lying. I really did. See? Do you believe me yet? You still think I'm lying? Like, bro, look. I have a cast net. I'm serious, guys. I d ah! Ah! Oh, my gosh. What is that thing? That's not a hammock. That's a death trap. That's worse than trying to balance in a kayak. That is what it is. This is a kayak for the trees. That's exactly what it is. It's the same shape and everything. Same unstableness too. Now I got all my socks wet. Again. Wow. What a move. Come on, man. You didn't have to do that. Like, I paid $15 for you. You should not treat your owner like that. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I don't think the hammock cared that I took my shoes off before I got in. It really didn't care what I thought. But anyways, onto the cast net. Pull out my... My bear knife again, get the zip tie off. I almost died right there. Now, as y'all may or may not have known, my last cast net, it was a three foot radius, which means it was basically the smallest one they made. With this one, I went up, I moved up, I got a four foot radius, which is bigger. I should be able to cover more area, but I've heard that the bigger ones are harder to throw. So I'm gonna try to throw it here. It does have instructions, unlike the hammock, but here is the net and I'm gonna try to throw it here a few minutes. See if I still got my skills. And we'll try not to get it hung up on another stump. And then what do you do, like this? Okay, that is not how you throw a cat. My gosh, I need to, I'm going to break it again. I've done caught a stick with it. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to ruin another one. Because if I really wanted to break this cat snip, all I'd have to do is throw it around here and I'd, I'd break it, guys. I promise it wouldn't take me long. But I will make a deal with you. Come back for Monday's video and I'm pretty sure I'll be using the cat snip then. But at the beginning of the video, I told you that this video was going to be a little bit different than my normal vlogs. What do you think about it? Because honestly... I like them. But for real, do you like these videos where we just come out here do random stuff but still have fun? If you do, hit the like button and I will definitely do more. And if you've watched the video this far and you're not subscribed already, go down, hit the subscribe button. That way you'll know whenever I post more. And turn on the notifications if you're a platinum gray gangster. But I'm going to put the cast net up before I hurt it or myself. And if you want to see me use it, come back Monday. But I mean, honestly, you should come back Monday anyhow, so...
See you Monday. But before I leave these woods, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna master that hammock. I'm not leaving with it, just dump me out. Come on over here and watch round two. He will not beat me again. And I am gonna take my Crocs off again. And we need to name this guy. He obviously has a personality, so he needs a name. And I want you people to name him. There's no way. There's no way. Why does it keep raining? It's raining again. Now I'll just have to get out of the woods before I, this camera fills up with water. Okay, I made it. I think. I was out there for 10 minutes. <gasps> It is not about to stop. I know it is not about to stop. I just got back. It literally rained just enough to get me soaked, and then it's about to stop. But anyways, I'm gonna wait for the rain to stop, go get some dry clothes on, and then I'll hit y'all up with the verse of the week. Now, yes, it is Saturday. It's time for the verse of the week. You may have noticed this, but the last two verse of the weeks has been in this same spot with the same temperature sitting on the same bucket at the same time of day. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm on a roll right now. I gotta keep going. This one's titled brotherly love and the verse is coming out of romans 12 10 as it says show family affection to one another with brotherly love now I'll be honest guys i don't have a brother but that's beside the point the point is well sort of what comes after that it says show family affection to one another now we're gonna stop right there does it say that one another is your brother no one another is everybody one another is you and everybody else it says show family affection and we all love our families but what god is wanting us to do here in romans chapter 12 is he's wanting us to love everybody as if they are a family because in the end they kind of are but yeah guys it is the weekend today's saturday tomorrow's sunday go out these two days just really keep this in mind love everybody as you do your own fan but anyways be good over the weekend i'll see you monday hey guys my name's jake make sure you like the video comment down below if he's doing any kind of giveaway and subscribe to him while you're at thanks for the video kendall take it easy